Here we go, Card Collector 78's box, 16, 17. Upper Deck Artifacts. Good luck to you, sir. All right, we start with a gold parallel, number 12 of 25, Vladimir Tarasenko. 12 of 25, Vladimir Tarasenko. Rookie Redemption for the New York Islanders. Like I said, my guest, Matt Barzell, Michael Dow Cole, probably Barzell. Dual jersey, number to 125, Corey Schneider. Corey Schneider. 50. Dual jersey and autograph, number 19 of 49, Pekka Rene. 19 of 49, dual jersey and auto, Pekka Rene. Ruby number to two ninety nine Grant Fear Grant Fear We've got a Ruby parallel number to two ninety nine Jamie Ben Jamie Ben Rookie number to nine ninety nine Charlie Lindgren And we finish with a jersey and two color patch emerald, number to 75, David Krejci. David Krejci, jersey and patch at a 75. So there we go, buddy. So who are going to be the final six heroes to hop in, guys? That's it. Six more. And the last case of the night is a go. So, and again, guys, the remaining team is relatively inexpensive. Carolina's only 30. Columbus is only 40. And Columbus, like I said, strong in this product. Nashville's only 25. Ottawa's only 25. St. Louis, only 30. Tampa Bay, only 30. That is the entirety of what stands between us and this break. And we got, I think we need to fill it for the sake of Sweets' sanity here at this point. My voice hasn't given out yet either, too, so we're doing good.
usually at some point on good release nights like this one, like, my voice does get all raspy and hoarse by the end of the night. We're doing all right so far. <laughs> it was closest to filled at the time, yeah. Can't always trust that. They caught the guy or they just like, as I seen the picture that was circulating on Facebook today, but I don't, I didn't know that they actually like got him, got him. Poor guy's life is over. Well, they're not, he gets charged with anything there. People are going to find out who he is and just roast him. They actually got him? Oh, and they released his name, that poor, poor bastard. He didn't do it either, so that could be interesting. Yeah, the one thing that's getting to me is I'm reading through this here and like the character witnesses or, or whatever you want to call them, we're talking about him. He's like a soft-spoken type guy. It doesn't seem like the type of guy that would do it, but 
You don't know until you know, right? That guy got beer cans and bottles banned from playoff games. He's a national enemy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Liquid courage will change anybody. Well, not anymore we don't. We did. Now we don't. Alright, and again guys, we've only got these six lonely, lonely, lonely spots left in the artifacts. Case the final artifacts case of the night, and only one team costs more than $30. So hopefully we get a few people to step up here shortly and get it going. Artifact's pretty well spread out product. Obviously a few teams stronger than others, but it looks like most teams have been hitting tonight. I oh, didn't see Syndergaard came out of the game. I imagine Bumgarner's still going. So who are going to be the biggest heroes of the night? No, we were, we were talking about this earlier tonight. It was like that time a few years ago when Reddit found the Boston Bomber. And then it turned out, oops, they were wrong. I'm not going to carry over a break on six spots. I won't do it. We're going to fill this tonight, guys. Have a good night, Marty. I mean, Columbus has Bjorkstrand and Milano for rookies. And if you don't know much about rookies, uh, ask anybody who does. They're good. Those are guys you want to hit. I said it during the, earlier in the night, and I'll say it again. Bjorkstrand is my dark horse for rookie of the year. I don't think he'll win it, but I wouldn't be surprised if he got nominated. He's going to have a big year. And go look at the numbers Bjorkstrand put up towards the end of the year in Columbus last year. They're not nothing. They're actually damn impressive.
So let's keep let's get this sucker filled, guys. I am not a patient man. I'm starting to get the shakes from not busting artifacts already. This is bad. This is really bad. Oh, San Fran got the bases loaded in the eighth. Oh boy. Oh boy. I've got a sneeze, I think. <coughs> there it is. Excuse me. So, yeah, guys, if anybody wants any multi spot deals on any of the remaining teams, I am willing to play ball to get this going. Hunter Pence is Marv from Home Alone. That pitch was ice cold. I'm just going to throw it as hard as I can straight down the middle of the plate. Try and keep up. So we got only six to go in this artifacts here. Anybody still with me here, guys? Chat's gone awfully quiet considering we're this close to filling the last break of the night. We're really, really close to filling the last break of the night. I mean, some of these teams have been really good tonight. Like, why is Columbus still there? Even Carolina's had a bunch of pretty decent hits. Oh, well, what do I know? Nothing, that's what. <laughs>
There we go. Uh, I'm with Sloth on this one. Somebody needs to start taking some spots here. Like yesterday. There we go, Dosco, the hero, to unstick the break, and we are down to five left. Tampa's still there, and we've even hit a couple Stamkoses tonight. We never hit Stamkoses, but we've hit some tonight. He is. Pierre-Luc Dubois, technically no, but there's a decent chance he'll be the Columbus Redemption if he makes the team. I figure the Columbus Redemption will be him or Wierenski. Again, like I said, based on whichever one makes the team. There we go, Mark M will take Tampa Bay and Carolina. So that brings it down to three left. So here we go, three to go, Ottawa, Nashville, and Columbus. Alright, so all we got to go now is the Columbus Blue Jackets, Nashville Predators, Ottawa Centers. Like I said, Columbus Rookie Redemption should be good. They've got two really good live rookies in the product. And they've actually had a few vets come out of here. A few Brandon Sods, a few Nick Felinos, a few Sergey Bobrovskis. Not bad, actually. Alright, Nashville as well. Biggest hit tonight, um, autographed rookie redemption relic silver dual jersey number one. So basically we hit the Austin Matthews auto dual jersey tonight. So uh, that one, that one's definitely a solid candidate for... <laughs> For the big boy. 
We hit we've hit a lot of really really good secondary hits. So like this product's pretty damn good for piling those on. All right. So with Nashville off the board, we're down to just Ottawa and Columbus. Perfect, Dosco. Thanks, buddy. Update those payments for you guys. Alright, so let's get these final two filled, guys. And again, Ottawa's 25, Columbus 40, Columbus, Bjork, Strand, Milano. The rookie redemption is going to be Wierenski or Dubois in all likelihood. I mean, come on now. All right, well, since I'm going to go to the washroom anyway, I'm going to go run the payments I need to run now for this break just to multitask save time. back boys and girls and hopefully by the time I get back get these payments run and whatnot those final two spots are spoken for
Go. Sorry, that took a little longer than I thought. But those payments are good. And we've only got two spots left now with the other 28 paid for and good to go. So who are going to be the final two heroes to fill this break? Columbus for 40, Ottawa for 25. We're going to hit like the Bjorkstrand patch tag auto black or something like that. Now I can feel it already. Just to screw with us just a little bit. One the blue it sounds like a bad sitcom. game is intense i wonder if this these wild card games this year have not disappointed have they i didn't see any uh nothing no crazy galchenyuk's tonight my like a tundra tandems with gallagher was about the best galchenyuk we hit tonight so far so maybe we're due Amazing. Columbus has not done poorly yet in a break, and Ottawa's only 25, and we're stuck on them. We got to do it, do it. I'm just getting sad now. Ottawa's only $25. Call it 55 and I'll do it. Can't go under 55. Usually on uh, mid-range breaks, $5 is the absolute most I can swing on a spot. <laughs> Like if we're starting to get up into like the hundred, two hundred dollar teams, like sometimes I can work a bit more, but yeah, 
that, and I'm like, the the spots at this price can't really swing off that. Or I start seeing that spot in the red. Well, it is an even-numbered year for the Giants. Uh, let me do some math here for you, Habs. What I said, one, two, four. All right, there you go, responded Habs. Let me know if that works for you, buddy. 